conceptual drawings for a chandelier in 1965 is my first film project. And the background for it was the experience of being invited to the opera. Arturo Herrera, he was inviting uh, groups of friends of his. He would buy a block of the cheapest seats at the uh, opera, uh, the standing room only, and then you and then after the lights you sit down. So we were sitting in the cheapest seats way up high. But that also meant that we were very close to the ceiling. The Metropolitan Opera House has 40 massive over-the-top chandeliers. Since we were so close to them, you know, we spent a lot of time looking at them, or I did anyway. And I knew immediately knew what they were. I'd seen pictures of them. But what struck me about them is I thought, gosh, they look like some pop image of the Big Bang, some explosion of matter and light. So I thought, wouldn't it be great to make a film of the chandeliers as an abstract uh, artwork and to really draw this connection between the science of the Big Bang and these objects. The chandeliers were uh, designed in 1965. 1965 happens to be the year that the first physical evidence of the Big Bang was discovered. It was front page news on every paper in the world. It proved Einstein wrong, and in my opinion, is a, a significant event in the history of modernism. The film is in part an animation of uh, real scientific diagrams of the Big Bang made at that time, and they're very abstract because, again, this problem of modeling this concept is very difficult, and it turns out that a lot of these drawings end up looking kind of like the chandelier. So the idea is to kind of make this, this, this very simple visual connection that these are the drawings, the sketches for the chandeliers, and then we film the chandeliers, some of them falling through space, which is a big part of the Big Bang Theory, that everything is in motion in relationship to each other and itself. So we tried to film the objects as an expanding explosion of space and time and light. 